All right, when putting additional capacitors across the originals in the roads, it's important to note polarity and which one goes where. This particular one, this capacitor here, which happens to have a black cardboard coating on it, is a little different from the others. And uh, it's got a negative going to here and a positive going to here. But see, it's got to be insulated from the chassis because the negative is not a ground potential. So what they do is you'll follow that white wire. It goes down under here and out to here and on the bridge rectifier. It's the minus side of the four diodes. Uh, there's two diodes at the end and that's the minus side. So therefore, this is the minus. And if you look at the capacitor, you'll see it's got a stripe on it and a minus. And that should go also to the can, which is here. And the positive goes here. Now it's important to note that the reason we put the capacitors here is because of room considerations. Putting it here is, is a little bit tough sometimes. And besides, you can't get to it very easily. You might accidentally short out. So doing it here is a much better deal. Likewise, on the other side of the chassis, you'll find this is the silver capacitor. And it's, um, yeah, it's uh, ground is sitting here. And uh, it's on the can and positive is there. And you'll see that this is also can negative. Some of these are can positive, and you it'll it'll say on the on the capacitor itself if there's something wrong. But this is minus and this is plus right here. So you'll follow that back with the red wire, and you'll find that it goes back to here, and that's the positive side. That's the band side of the uh, two diodes going to it on the four diode bridge. So this is positive and this is ground. So you can see the minus here on our stripe and our capacitor is going to ground and the positive side which is not marked is uh, going to the positive of the, uh, uh, the bridge rectifier. And again the reason we put the capacitor here is because of the room involved and it's very difficult to get this to come in. Alright so now the, um, the additional factors uh, in this particular instance would be to check and see if you have any loose connections and things like that. Make sure the leads aren't too long when they go through the through the uh, terminal strip. And it's perfectly all right to put them through the terminal strip the way that is. That's often done in television and radio work, especially back in the 60s. It fits right in. Um, the, uh, the other thing, of course, uh, one uh, working with capacitors, to make sure your voltage rating is at least a uh, percentage higher than than what's on there. For example, uh, the voltage on this here will be me as measured will be 39 volts with 120 volts input. Um, so therefore, the capacitor must be rated for 50 volts. And the um, this is uh, the value. Of, this is 3300. Uh, the original value of the original capacitors is 3000. Um, be generous with the capacitance because. Uh, in the end, it will lower your hum level. So that's uh, an example of how to put the capacitors in a uh, Rhodes unit. This is a 4-pin power supply.